Hey guys, good afternoon. Today we're going to be working on Kevin's Big Blue Badass 460 powered gasser. We're going to be revisiting the mirror mounting plates that are on his doors that are mounting his Duramax mirrors. Uh, he's ordered some nice laser cut, pre-drilled, ready to go plates that are going to fit into the vent wing frame opening inside the door and are going to mount the uh, Duramax mirror into the door. We're going to do a little bit better, uh, a little bit nicer job on the fitment into the door jam. Kevin had tacked some plates in there before and he wasn't happy with the way they looked so we're going to we're going to redo that. We're going to use these nice laser cut plates, weld them in. Uh, we're going to use a series of tacks for that. Uh, we're welding thick to thin material so the the plates themselves are about 3 16 of an inch thick mild steel and the doors themselves the door skins are about 24 gauge uh, steel so there's a difference there a big difference in material density and thickness so uh, when you're tack welding thick to thin you want to set your heat settings somewhere above the heat of the thinner material and you want to transition your tack weld from the thick material onto the thinner material and that's what we're going to do uh, to tack these in we're going to spread our tacks out not rush it and try and keep the distortion to a minimum uh, on the sheet metal we're going to fill a couple of holes that have been drilled into the door there uh, so that we can then mud it up prime it and paint it and uh, make these doors look like they were always this way so Kevin's going to bring the truck up here. We're going to get started on it. I'm going to fire up my big, noisy, lousy sh shock compressor. <laughs> I need to get a new compressor, but I'm waiting for this one to die, and it just won't die. Uh, and we're going to get started making some noise. Uh, I'm going to be welding with my 211 Miller. Uh, we considered TIG welding it all in there. I'm not using the pedal, just using a, just using a preset setting and the trigger. But um, to expedite the process and uh, to make the process go a little bit faster we're just going to use the MIG. Uh, the results should be good enough and uh, I think it's going to look good, be strong and support those mirrors so they're not flopping around anymore on the door skins where they were previously tacked. Um, so you guys grab a cold beverage and we're going to get to work. Yeah, that's good stuff, Kevin. Watch me blast all that blue dust in the inside of my truck. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll blast it right back out of there. Somebody's going to say something about the clear coat. Do we want to address it, that now? or Is it peeling? <laughs> it, might, it might be. I never noticed. Okay, so we've got the uh, window frame here prepped out, ready to go. We also prepped out the plate that's being welded in there. We had to re-drill. Kevin had to relocate some of those holes. So they weren't in the right place for his Duramax mirrors. Um, the other thing that we're not too impressed with on these plates is that they're a little short of the end of the mirror. So we're going to have to address that later on down the road. But for now, we're going to go with what we got, get them tacked in, get the mirrors back on the truck. So I'm going to go in here and tack, uh, tack the plate in. You want to start on the heavier plate and then transition to the thinner sheet metal. Um, I'm running uh, a setting on my 211 here for around 22 gauge sheet metal. It's probably a little hotter than this, but uh, that's because I'm starting off on the 3 16 plate. And when you're doing tack welds and you're doing a lot of tacks, you want to have your setting just a hair higher than you would normally do if you're trying to stitch. So I'm not stitching these in, I'm just tacking them in. So I'll do a series of uh, perimeter tacks to locate the plate, remove my magnets because magnets will throw off your tacks. Uh, get the magnets out of there and then continue to tack it in until I have a nice continuous weld all the way around the perimeter. Uh, we're almost done on the passenger side. I've got a few more tacks I've got to do, particularly in the top and bottom corner. And uh, 
we want to grind it all down and see where we're at before we just keep throwing tacks on top of tacks. So we got it all ground out. Kevin ground it out with three inch cutting disc on the uh, air grinder. So I can go over there after I finish tacking this side in and uh, start filling in some of those spots. He'll grind this side, come back over here, fill in all the spots, and then we'll finish it up. We'll st we start off with a three inch grinding disc, cutting disc, uh, and a straight grinder to cut out those tacks and grind them down, get an initial rough cut on them. And then we'll switch to a sanding disc and finish off with a scotch bright disc on the 90 degrees. So that's kind of where we're going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tack this one in. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could open those further, but I mean, I, I like being able to see the entire mirror more. Than yeah. Backside? Oh yeah. Good, good. Or no, there's just they're pretty stiff. <laughs> I'm too much of a wuss. I can't extend it. There it is. <laughs> I can't get it out all the way. <laughs> now they're real Chevy tow mirrors because they're flipped out when you're not pulling. <laughs>
I'll fill it on there and clean up those grinding marks and whatnot and uh, give it a fresh coat. how the new mirrors look before I consider doing it on mine. But. <laughs> you can always do the Dodge mirrors. Yeah, I wonder how those look. I, I haven't looked that up. <clears throat> we'll stop in here and get your payment. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, this is visibility from the driver's seat with the uh, passenger mirror extended all the way. You can see that you can see the full head of the mirror. There's no uh, interference with the uh, vent wing post on the mirror, and with the mirror collapsed all the way, it just barely catches the bottom of the convex mirror from the driver's seat. So visibility is really good with the D-Max mirrors, and uh, they look pretty good. They fit the truck well. They, you know, have a nice square shape like the truck and little rounded corners. It matches a uh, matches the look of the truck pretty well so Kevin's happy with them they're working good they're not flopping around like they were so the thicker plate moved on the inside of the vent wing frame seemed to have stiffened that up a little bit and make the make the mirrors a little more usable the new mirrors that are coming are the same basic shape and size uh, they just have a smaller mounting base and uh, a different bolt pattern as we found out these D-Max mirrors that Kevin already had don't have the same bolt pattern as the plates so we had to redrill the bolt holes um, to relocate the mirrors and try and get them in the right spot and initially we were a little pissed off about that because you know these were these plates were 35 bucks that he ordered and they're supposed to be pre-drilled and laser cut and all this other stuff and uh, they are laser cut and they do basically fit the vent wing frame on the door but uh, they left a little bit of fitting to be desired so did a little bit of grinder work to clean up some of the edges, make them fit in there a little bit better. And um, they fit pretty well, and they look good. Uh, they just didn't have the right mounting pattern for the uh, for the plate. So Kevin's got the new mirrors on order, and uh, uh, they're going to look better, I think, and fit better, and kind of match the, match the plates a little bit better. Right? That's the game plan? That's the game plan. What do you got there? Oh, some tasters. All right.